Hey everyone, we are asked to provide the electron configuration of copper in the standard and noble gas notation. So I recommend you take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own before we go through the answer together. When finding the electron configuration of an atom, we are being asked where does that atom place its electrons? In other words, which shells and orbitals are its electrons most likely to be found in? So, to solve this, the first thing we actually need to do is go and look at our periodic table and see how many electrons our copper atom actually has. Looking this up, we know that copper is number 29 on the periodic table, meaning that in a neutral state, no positive or negative charge, our copper will have 29 protons in its nucleus and thus 29 electrons surrounding that nucleus. Let's also remember that in the past videos, we talked about this handy device for remembering which orbitals have the lowest energy, as those are the orbitals that will get filled first. So, since we have 29 electrons to place, we always begin with 1s, and as we discussed before, s subshells can hold 2 electrons. So, that leaves us with 27 electrons. Next, following our arrows, we have 2s, which again can take 2 electrons. Then we have 2p. p subshells can hold 6 electrons. So, we now have 19 electrons left to place. Next, we have 3s, which will take 2 electrons, and then again 3p, which will hold 6. This leaves us with 11 electrons left to place. If we were to continue in this manner, we would expect to have 4s2 and then 3d9. However, remember the exception that we talked about in our electron configuration exception video. The electrons do not like d9, as d10 is much more stable. Therefore, when we have d9, particularly for copper, silver, and gold, they will steal an electron from the lower 4s and use that to fill out the d orbital, which is much more stable. There we go, we have just solved for the standard electron notation for copper. The noble gas underneath copper is argon, which has 18 electrons and electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Therefore, we can substitute this portion of our standard electron configuration and rewrite it like so, converting it to our noble gas notation. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of copper's electron configuration. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.